here. Panic Swoopers hauling. You guessed it. Jimmy Electric's holding the camera. Look at these signs. I'll explain where we're heading to in a moment. We're almost, we're right now, that city over there to the left is Newark, New Jersey. One of the prime capitals of our major cities. I'm going to show you New York. Don't worry, we're not going to be able to have the nightlife jet set in New York City because we're always working. Not for money. Who wants to get paid to do work? But right there, the policeman. I should have George Washington. Probably should have the uh, GPS on, but it doesn't matter. How do you not find Massachusetts? So um, we're going to stay left. We'll go through the city, George Washington Bridge. Take a look at New York City over there, Jim. See the Empire State Building? Let's take a look. Let's get a view of that. I'll pause these nice little books. Look at that. The world-renowned New York City. Look how big New York City is. Look at that. So, yeah. Photoshop this, mother. What? Don't talk like that live TV and kids watch this maybe your family pet look at these signs Jim everything we get it done whether it's going to the furthest point of Tennessee or Massachusetts to take your son-in-law hopefully to be but for now just her boyfriend he's got a new job so of course we're doing all this for free so show him the truck a little bit Jim you probably can't see Turn the truck around. Got this big box truck. Not going to make anybody feel bad that they're a scaredy cat to drive it. I don't care. I drive anything. Anything with wheels. Preferably if they're round, we can move more. But anyways, I'm a little bit off. It's going to be an extremely long day. I got up about six. We're going to do this in one day. So hopefully we're back in the Baltimore area dropping this truck off. Uh, about 12 or 1 but uh we're not due to get to i think we're going to be an hour outside of boston um we're not going to get to hang out up there because someone i'm not mentioning any names this time he didn't forget his id but he wants to get back to his family so i was going to hit you with how far would you go but this isn't actually a paid trip this is just like volunteer but at least he's making some money, you know. So, I'm going to pause for a little bit. I'll get you some nice footage in, say, downtown New York. Since we're going to go right through it. We don't really care too much about Connecticut. So, we're not going to worry about Connecticut. Sorry if I piss off my Connecticut fans. Love Connecticut. Love all the sailboats and all the water. But, uh, we're just breezing on through, so... Thanks for sharing some of that time with me. I'll talk to you shortly. My favorite peeps. Almost killed Mr. Electric. Here we go. We should be there in about 30 minutes. We made it to Massachusetts. Didn't get my Nathan's hot dogs, but that's okay. But there it is. And now back to the trip on 84. There's nothing. Look at it. Looks like Highway 81. What would you do? How far would you go in starting your junk removal, dumpster trailer removal? But anyway, let me ask a question. How far would you go, Mr. Electric? He just shakes his head because he wants to play his video game, gets his offshore bedding. But anyway, I'm gonna show you all the stuff. Of course, it's gonna be on the third floor, but that's okay. We're gonna turn around. And back down the road we go. This is going to be a one-day trip. Because we don't mess around. One good thing, when we leave town, we have two jobs already scheduled for Monday. So, see ya! Thanks for staying tuned. I can't see my pretty face. I want to apologize. I wasn't able to get the footage because, honestly, I forgot. You didn't see the third floor apartment. But it did take us a little under an hour. Unloaded it, then we had to pop the door. There's always one piece of furniture that's a pain in the ass, to be quite honest. But, uh, so I forgot. 
the only nice thing when I dropped off the family, we were able to go get some barbecue in Worcester, which is one of my favorite things to do. So first I want to apologize. Well, first I want to thank you for taking some of your time, sharing some of your day with me, even though I didn't get the end of the footage. But again, the question is, how far would you go in starting your junk removal dumpster rental business? Part two. So I want everybody to keep writing in. If you care to see, like we're in New Rochelle right now, we're heading southbound on 95. It's probably about 1030-ish. I just, uh, we should be home. What, what time should we be home, Jamie? 130. About 1.30, 2 o'clock. We got some things to do um, beforehand, but good barbecue. The ride so far is not too bad. People are driving pretty uh, well, so that's pretty good. I'm trying to uh, see if you can see, I guess, the city at night, because it is about 10.30. But we're a few minutes outside, um, I guess, New York City. Uh, after a while, when you start traveling across everything, I watch out for the FedEx man. But you can just see, you know, if you can, see what you can see. I know it's probably not much. I know the last video was kind of black, which I can't help that. But I uh, just wanted to apologize because I didn't get you the footage. So I want to thank you uh, for sharing some of your day with me need any junk removal, demolition, D.C. to Delaware, help, Tennessee, or Massachusetts. We're definitely the guys. Would you agree with that, Jamie? Yes. Yes. So whatever you need, give us a call. Call us direct, 443-838-2353. Again, I'm Bill with Addicts Hoopers Holland. We got Mr. Electric holding up the camera. Thank you, and good night.